in the beginning. So you might want to, if he ain't showing you interest, boop, I got FOMO that, that that's showing me. beautiful black queen that everybody love what's happening what's going on hope you guys are having an amazing awesome fantabulous saturday if this is your first time then definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button your girl is on a road to 1k and i need your help so if you are not subscribed to my channel then definitely go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this more makeup tutorials and different things like that i am a makeup artist um i am an entrepreneur i do have my own business and things like that so if you'd like to see vlogs and stuff like that if you'd like to see just more everyday lifestyle videos then definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button because your girl this, this is the channel this is the channel for you if you are a returning lavish doll then welcome back my lavish doll welcome back my family i love you guys so much thank you all for tuning in each and every week um i stated in my last video that i will start doing post notification shout outs and i will be doing that towards the end of this video so stay tuned if you want to know how you could actually be featured in my post notification shout out so yeah without further ado let's get into this video so if you can tell by the title of this video your girl will be talking about dating in 2021 so um i decided to do this video um i was supposed to um upload yesterday which is which was friday but um i decided to go ahead and do an impromptu video i did have a video already ready to be uploaded but i decided to do a spinoff on the video that i posted the other day which was about how to overcome a breakup a divorce and different things like that um i got so much feedback on my social media channels on how um my video really helped and how people were really inspired by my video to um overcome a breakup and to move on from a breakup and to move on from a heartbreak um so i decided to go ahead and continue that on this video with dating in 2021 and just my opinion on how to date or how i'm dating in 2021 and here and beyond right so dating in 2021 Let's let, 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 let's just get into it. Okay, let's just get into it. Let me take this gum out because I can't. I I I, I can't. Whew. Okay, so dating in 2021 for me is totally different. Starting to date again is something that I have not done. Because if anybody know, if you see me looking this way, I'm doing my makeup. So y'all already know what time it is. So um if you have watched my previous video or, or my last video, I'm going to pin it up here somewhere. Um, go back and definitely check that out. But if you watch my last video, then you know that I was married for uh, 10 years and I was with my ex-husband for, um, I think, almost 13 years or something like that. Um, so I haven't had to date. So this whole newfound dating stuff is like really new for me. Um, so, you know, I have to step back out and date, you know, which I am doing. So, dating in 2021 is totally different. First of all, it's different from years past because now you got so many, um, social media platforms that you can actually date, date on all these dating sites, uh, Facebook, Instagram, I mean, uh, blackmeetpeople.com or something like that or whatever like you got so many dating sites that you could actually like upload your profile and stuff on you can literally be dating somebody across country <laughs> oh i don't know if i can do that or whatever because it's too many catfish out here okay it's too many catfish out here right you know all of us really want us to have that fairy tale y'all remember back in the day like that little fairy tale where you bump into somebody at the grocery store you drop your groceries and then y'all both go down to pick the groceries up and stuff like that and then y'all just stare in each other's eyes and it's just chemistry and y'all just married for 60 and 70 years mm -mm. 
<laughs> we all wish, right? We all wish, but it's not like that anymore. So it's all about now just kind of like weeding or deciphering through like the facade, the, the faces, the many different faces that people put on, you know what I'm saying? To just get you. And then once you get them or you get with them, it's like, who are you? Like, this is not the person that I met, right? So... This is just kind of some of my tips and some of the things that I've literally been just kind of like following, just like with dating and stuff like that. And I feel like it'll help you to decipher and just like not go through so many heartbreaks and things like that. Um, Just trying to find the one, right? Which we all just trying to find the one that we can grow old with that, you know, all that stuff. That's what we trying to find. So the first thing for me, I would say know exactly what it is you want in a partner. Know exactly what it is that you want in a male and a female. Like I'm going to kind of bounce between like saying, okay, I'm talking about men and women. And then there's going to be parts that I'm just going to be talking specifically to women about because I'm a woman. And so I can speak to the different perspectives and stuff like that of a woman. So so knowing exactly what it is that you want in your mate, that's male and female. Like, I think a lot of times we just like, yeah, I'm ready to date. But in actuality, we don't know exactly what it is that we're looking for in a partner. Like, we don't know exactly what it is that we really want in a mate outside of I want him to be tall. I want him to be 6'4". I want him to be a millionaire. I want him to be this, 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 and the third. I want him to be an entrepreneur. You know, all the stuff that you can kind of see on the outside. But what about the person, uh, the, the inner person, right? Like... We need to know all of that. Like, I want him to be kind. I want him to be, you know, I want him to, to to have great conversation. I want him to be able to be open. I want him to open up. I want him to be spontaneous. You know, I want him to be loving. I want him to be a great leader of a family. You know, so all these many different things, like, we really need to understand what it is we're actually looking for in a partner and just not the outside, the physique and different things like that. Because once all of that stuff fades, you got to have some type of substance, right? And a lot of times we get with people for the outward appearance or whatever. But then as things progress, you have no substance, no substance for you guys to sustain, no substance for you guys to last and stuff like that. So definitely understand and know exactly what it is that you want. Um, I have to go back to this story. Um, I know everybody know of B. Simone. If not, then B. Simone is a young entrepreneur. I think she's like 20 something years old. She's young and she's a millionaire at 20 something years old. And I follow her because she inspires me to do like major things. And I'm inspired by her to just kind of like be a millionaire and different things like that. So I watch her, you know, I, I, I glean from her and different things like that. So um, she made a comment, um, I think it was like a year or so ago, and she got so much flat behind a lot of trolls and just people being upset about her comment. And it's just like, wait a minute, like, what? what's really going on here? Like, she didn't say anything wrong. She was just pretty much giving her perspective on what she's looking for in a mate. And people were just like, what do you mean you don't want a man? Because she the comment she made was she don't want a man. Um, that works a nine to five and because she's an entrepreneur, she's a millionaire. So she didn't want, she doesn't want a man that works a nine to five. She wants a entrepreneur. She wants a man who's an entrepreneur. And I'm just like, I get her 100% because like she knows it's, it, it's a girl who knows what she wants. She knows she don't want a man that works a nine to five job. Um, because in all honesty, like, the mindset of an entrepreneur and the mindset of a person who works a nine to five job, they're totally two different mindsets. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I say that is because I'm on both sides of the spectrum. I know what it is to work a nine to five job because I have one. And then I know what it is to be an entrepreneur and the mindsets for both are totally two different things. So I totally get exactly what she meant. The mentality of a person who is an entrepreneur is totally different from a person, um, especially if they're not striving to be an entrepreneur. It's totally different. And I get that because it's true. Like, I'm on both sides of the spectrum. So, um, and people gave her a lot of flat, but I was kind of like, mm, shouldn't you know what kind of man you want? 
they was like really giving her flack. And I was just like, at least she knows exactly what it is that she's looking for. Because a lot of times people out here just dating haphazardly. They don't know what they want in a man. Like they don't know what they want in a partner. You know what I'm saying? And not just in a, a right now partner, but in a long term partner. In your 20s, those are the times you date, you have fun. You know, all of those many different things. You just date carefully and you just be responsible in your dating that you're not, you know, out here just wild and just, you know, doing anything and everything with any and everybody you know what i'm saying but when you start trying to get to your 30s and you know all that and you want to be married i feel like there comes a time when you just got to say okay it's no more just kind of like dating haphazardly like out here just dating just date just to be dating like now it's time for me to really understand what it is that i'm looking for in a partner secondly for me um when you are choosing your partner, especially when you're ready to now start settling down and you're looking for the mate that you're going to spend the rest of your life with or whatever. Okay, guys, I'm in the middle of my edits and um, I wanted to throw this in there. When I'm saying choosing, I'm still old school to a lot of things. Women, I don't believe women should be choosing no man or um, chasing no man or whatever the case may be. You choose from the ones who you who want you and you go through your list and you choose. Um, make sure that when you're choosing this person, you are doing it from a whole healthy place. A lot of times, um, when we're choosing partners and stuff like that, a lot of times we're choosing out of our brokenness, um, from childhood traumas, past relationship traumas, different things like that. A lot of times we choose from those places. And sometimes those are the places that really gets us messed up because we're choosing from the perspective of the broken, you know what I mean? And so when you get to a place where you are whole and you're healthy and you're mentally healthy and stuff like that, a lot of times you're going to pick from a better place. You're going to pick a better caliber or a better uh, fit for your life because now you're able to decipher between um, the real and what's fake right do not pick when you're still trying to figure yourself out do not pick when you're still trying to figure out you know what you're trying to do in life and where you're trying to go in life and you know trying to get over old uh baggage and old broken relationships and old traumas and stuff like that take that time to really heal take that time to really know what it is or who you really are as an individual like um you still got uh self-esteem issues you definitely don't want to say yeah i want to be in a relationship because it's it's almost like it's almost like this and y'all can let me know in the comments if you feel this way when you're broken it's like you attract brokenness right when you're hurting you attract hurting people you know what i'm saying when you are um when you have self-esteem issues you attract those who have self-esteem issues it's almost like you attract what you are you know what i'm saying and so a lot of times i feel like it's best for you to be in a whole place because that's what you attract i'm not saying this is just the bottom line end all be all but i'm just saying like you know just to make sure that you are at least 90 percent whole 90 percent you know what i'm saying heal before you start trying to move along so honestly if you've just gotten out of a relationship i would say definitely give yourself about two years you know what I mean? Like I said, it's nothing wrong with having friends. You know what I'm saying? But in that moment, you need to rediscover who you are as an individual. You need to rediscover who you are as a person because what you was when you was in that relationship is totally different. You know what I'm saying? And what you desired, you know, when you was in your 20s and, you know, in your early 20s, it's totally different from what you desire now. You know what I mean? Because we evolve. We evolve every single day. And if you was in a broken relationship, you know, you need that time to really uh, take time out to now find out who you are uh after this relationship you know what i mean because you have evolved <laughs> in the relationship you evolve right whether it be for the good or whether it be for the bad but you definitely evolved we all are growing and evolving every single day you definitely want to make sure that you are whole you definitely want to make sure that you are healthy that you are mentally intact like you are mentally intact okay so now that you know what you want and now you know you've done the work to be healed and to behold and all those many different things you don't want the counseling and all that other stuff and you're in a great place i would say the next thing for me is date multiple people you heard it right here date multiple people and I don't want you to misconstrue what I'm saying when I say date multiple people. I'm not saying you're sleeping with these people. I'm not saying you got more than 10 folks that you're talking to at a time. Because I feel like 
that's a major juggling act. Um, I'm not saying that, you know what I'm saying, you going out every single day of the week trying to date all these people at one time. But what I am saying is date multiple people. Um, I was one in the beginning, like years ago, I'm just like, oh, 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 I could I could never date multiple people. Like I'm just a one woman man. I am not about to. And I started thinking, I said, men do it. Men do it all the time. I think as women, a lot of times we're so we're so programmed to automatically go into as soon as we start talking to somebody, go into like marriage mode and wifey and trying to show him, oh, I'm um I'm the woman for you. <laughs> like it's me and you against the world type thing. Already? Like you just started talking to him last week and you already got your wedding dress picked out in your head. You already got um the type of shoes you're going to be wearing in your bridal party. And, you know, and I think, I think that's just society and it's okay. Um, but I think we have to get out of programming ourselves like that. But I think society, because as kids, of course, we were, as women, we were programmed, um, to, uh, want to be married. We were programmed. We, we played with dolls, you know, um, we played the family, we played mom and dad and the kids. We played all those games as women were guys, they were more so into video games, you know what I mean? And things like that. So it's like, women, we got to stop thinking that, oh, well, we just got to settle with one man. It's just pretty much saying that you are weighing your options, right? Um, You don't have to settle for the first man that comes along and say, hey, you're beautiful. You don't have to settle for the first man that comes along and say, hey, I want to marry you and all these many different things. You don't have to settle for that. Um, It's okay to have your options open. It's okay to date other men while you are dating uh somebody else because dating is not the end all be all, right? And sometimes we um we miss out on good people because we're so stuck on one person and no i don't feel like that i honestly don't feel like that's healthy dating in my perspective in my perspective because you because a lot of times when you just start dating one person then it's like you, you putting all your eggs in this one basket and if this don't work then you've already wasted 10 years or not even 10 years, but you've already wasted several months with one person that you found out was not really even for you in the beginning, right? So it's okay to date multiple people because in that you can decipher between, okay, he's spending time with me or he really wants my attention versus somebody else who call you every every time they think about maybe they can come over and smash or whatever the case may be, right? So no, and it's okay if, if you want to tell them, hey, I'm, date, I'm dating more than just you. That's totally fine. If you don't want to tell them, then you ain't got to tell them, right? Because this is what the dating game is all about. We're dating, right? I'm not your wife. I'm not your girlfriend. I'm just trying to get to know you and trying to see if this is something that's going to be beneficial for the both of us because people really don't want to think about it. But relationships, marriages, and different things like that, this is a give and take thing. Like, people don't realize that marriage is a business. <laughs> I don't know who, who, who told y'all that it wasn't. Marriage is a full-out business. Marriage is a full out business and because you're both giving and you're both taking, you're both giving and you're both taking. It shouldn't be one sided where somebody's always giving and somebody's always taking, right? So it has to be a, it has to be an exchange. This is, this is a, this is a merchant. I'm a merchant, right? Like, you know, you give me this, I give you this. So it's okay to date multiple people because if you got five, I'll put it like, if you got five guys that you're talking to, right? One of them is, one of them or a couple of them are, are only texting you every blue moon, like every once out of every month or once out of a week. And then you don't hear from them for another two. More than likely, that's not the person for you. And now I'm talking from the perspective of a woman. You don't need no man who is not into you and you feel like you already got to chase them. Because as I stated, how relationships start is how relationship is going to end. So if you already going into and you already got to chase this man, call him. Figure out why he ain't calling you. Why y'all ain't spending time together. Why y'all ain't, why he ain't coming trying to wine and dine you. That's not the man for you because guess what? You're going to have to continue that in the relationship. So you might already don't want to start with that in the beginning. So you might want to if he ain't showing you interest, boop, I got FOMO that, that, that's showing me interest. And then during that dating, you just kind of weed out. And another thing, 
point number what point number three i just i think i just kind of like just talking now it's okay to cut them off i think sometimes as women we feel bad because we got to cut off somebody that we feel like is not a good fit for us men do it all the time at the end of the day if they feel like a woman is not you enjoyed this video then definitely give me a big thumbs up um if you like this look then definitely give me a big thumbs up if you're looking for some lashes which i have on the best seller lashes and um if you're looking for some great lashes if you're looking for an mua um if you're looking for some bomb wigs i've had this wig for almost two years now and it is still i haven't curled it i haven't did anything to it and i'm still rocking it almost two years later so if you're looking for some good units and stuff like that then definitely hit your girl up because we are expanding lavish look beauty is expanding guys we are literally expanding i'll be dropping fedora hat wigs um i'll be dropping headband wigs and i will also be dropping cap wigs really soon i have some more products merchandise some makeup that will be dropping really soon on my website so your girl has been working 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 so go shop lavishlookbeauty.com go ahead and get you some lashes go ahead and get you some units um and in the near future in a couple of weeks actually i'll be dropping um some makeup i'll be dropping a lot of stuff i'm not gonna speak on it right now i'll be dropping a lot of stuff so definitely be on the lookout but as promised i am getting ready to do the notification shout out and this week's notification shout out goes to jordan casey thank you so much for being a part of the notification game you are on my videos every video that i drop you're leaving comments you're part of the notification game and i truly appreciate it even though we're family, but you still don't have to, uh, you know, do all of the stuff like watching and sharing and stuff, but you do every single time I drop a video and I'm so grateful for it. So I love you so much. Um, y'all show her some love in the comment section below. She is my cousin. So that's why I say we're family because we for real, for real family. But in case that I love you girl and shout out to you. So if you'd like to be featured in my next notification, then, um, go ahead, turn on those post notification bells, uh, somewhere on the sides, turn on those bells, go ahead and like me on my social media. I'll go ahead and post those there again on my social media channels um and then comment in the um comment in the comment section below just engage with me on my post so i love you guys so much and until next time i'm out peace